Hello, friends. It's Melissa with MelissaEssel.com and Calligraphy.org. This quote came to me by a friend, Shannon Orr. She's Eva B. Makery on Instagram. She shared the whole quote is, Our perfection keeps us from blessing the people we love. Progress is quiet. Perfection screams failure and hides progress. So I lettered the last part, Perfection screams failure and hides progress. It just struck me like really a lot because sometimes if I don't think it's going to come out right, I'm not going to do it at all. And, you know, that's not, that's not what this real life is really about. It's about just getting things done for yourself, for other people, especially serving other people. Service does not have to be perfect. It just needs to be done. So anyway, this quote really just hit home for me this last week. I have penned it with Vermilion Sumi ink, a Hunt 99 nib, which is one of my favorite modern nibs that is out there. It's one of those nibs that I think most people haven't really used or tried. It's very flexible. It's got a pretty fine point and it's very flexible and it's a smaller nib, so it doesn't hold a ton of ink. Um, and it can skip if you're not cognizant of the type of paper you're using. So you may notice you hear a lot of scratching noises on the paper when you're watching this, but, um, it's because the tines are just so flexible and so fine. So you get this really nice, juicy downstroke. I'm not pressing super hard and this is a seven millimeter X height. So... I could go all the way up to 10, maybe I've even done a 15 millimeter X height and it's handled that X height really well. So it's just one of my favorite nibs and I'm using an adjustable hourglass holder from Paper and Ink Arts. And, um, this is, this has been my go-to for pointed pen practice recently. It's, you know, I kind of go through phases and right now it's the Hunt 99, <laughs> the hourglass holder. So that's, um, what I'm using. Oh, and the paper, you might want to know about that. This is funny paper. It is Aspen 30 recycled paper. I found it at Walmart. I initially got it because it was inexpensive and it looked like cheap, fine enough paper for my kids drawn because my kids go through so much paper these days just with all the projects that they're doing the coloring they want to do so I bought a huge dream of this for like five six bucks and turns out it handles ink really well so I've been using this for practice and I've been stealing it away from the kids um one of the things you might be noticing right now that I am doing my ascenders and descenders after the fact this is something that allows me to um, play around with flourishes without having to draft out a very complicated thing beforehand. So I didn't plan anything besides um, the line breaks. I plan the line breaks just because perfection screams failure and hide progress. Um, those line breaks really make the most sense. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, I'm at Melissa Fur, you'll see how I had two options last week that I posted. One um, where the line breaks happen more often and the other one where the line breaks, well, the other one was this one. And um, everybody took a vote and the second one, this one, this version, won by a landslide. It just reads better, the layout's easier. Um, but yeah, I didn't really plan any of these flourishes beforehand. I just left room, enough room, so that I could do things. And then after I was done, I put them in. Uh, this quote is by John Acuff. He is a motivational author. And um, right, he wrote a book on perfectionism and getting stuff done. I would highly recommend it. Uh, and if you'd like to learn more about calligraphy, check out my online courses at calligraphy.org. I teach modern calligraphy, uh, brush lettering, and I have a mini hand lettering intro course. It's $10 and 
only requires a pencil and the handouts. So you really can do calligraphy from home without any crazy supplies. Thank you again so much for watching and take care.